So two days after uh, the Bleeding Kansas thing started, uh, Senator Sumner of Massachusetts gives a speech for two days himself. He's actually given a speech for two days himself. He uh, calls it a crime against humanity. This whole Bleeding Kansas thing calls it a crime against the humanity, a rape of virgin territory. He calls out specific senators in the South by name. Uh, one of them is uh, Senator Andrew Butler from South Carolina. He says that he took the harlot slavery for his mistress, and then he proceeds to make fun of a medical condition uh, that Butler has. Now, I don't know what the medical condition is. I was trying to find some information on it um, a long time ago, and I still could not find information on exactly what it was, but he makes fun of this medical condition. Um, <clears throat> Senator Stephen Douglas says that, uh, so that that damn fool will get himself killed by some other damn fool. Um, and he's almost right, because then a second cousin to Butler, um, Representative Preston Brooks, walks into the Senate chamber and then proceeds to be beat Sumner with a cane until the cane breaks. For Brooks, this is a matter of family honor. This is very big in the South. It's just a matter of family honor. He insulted his family, so he took it upon himself to actually go and beat him with a cane. Now, why did he not challenge him to a duel? It's because it was supposed to be one of these things of um, <clears throat> treating him as a lesser person. If he challenged him to a duel, then that would have been uh, treating him as an equal. But no, he beat him with a cane the same way he would beat uh, a slave with a cane. So it was a matter of family honor for him. Um, and it, it, Sumner is so severely beaten that it actually takes three years for him to recover. And we actually have a little clip of what that looks like here. Uh, and I'll show that to you for just a second. So anyway, I was saying some stuff about his uh, cousin and, oh, geez, it was just funny. I was making fun of his medical condition and all that other stuff. <laughs> wait, wait, what's going on? Hey, I heard you said something about my cousin. I'm going to I'm going to hit you. Oh, you broke. Yeah, that serves you right. Oh, my God. Now, after that happened, uh, a lot of the supporters in the south of Brooks in particular sent him canes, and many of them actually had uh, cane, uh, had uh, written on them, sometimes in gold lettering, uh, hit him again. Now, it gets worse, though, because John Brown is in Kansas right now, the radical abolitionist John Brown, violent abolitionist John Brown. Uh, he believed he had a personal duty to God to overthrow slavery. So he wanted to strike terror into the hearts of pro-slavery men. That was his idea. So he and six of his companions go and drag five pro-slavery men from their beds, and then they um, whack them in the head with swords and then cut off their hands. So chaos after that starts ensuing. Free farms are ransacked, armed bands loot stores. Um, a dozen people are killed at John Brown's headquarters, and then uh, you get a guerrilla warfare going back and forth where 200 people are killed. <clears throat> 